Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just gonna be talking about my experience auditioning for um, Starlight Theater's Wizard of Oz. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So basically, um, I'm just going to tell the whole story of everything start to finish. Um, so originally, here, let me just explain like this. So I have auditioned for, before this, I've auditioned for two other Starlight shows. And um, one, my first one was Cinderella in 2011, and I made that one. And it was super fun. Um, Kara Lindsay, who is like amazing, she's an amazing actress. Uh, she was in Newsies. It just, she, anyways, she was Cinderella whenever I was in Cinderella at Starlight. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then my fifth grade year, I don't know what year that was, like 2016? No, not 2016. I don't know. 15, some, sometime. I auditioned for The Sound of Music and they had me sing. My singing audition went really well because they did cuts and then I did not get cut. So I moved on to the reading audition. And so they had me, er, well, they had like all of us that didn't get cut prepare a, um, um, like a, cut from the show. I don't know why I can't talk today. Anyways, so they had us prepare bleh, 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 prepare a cut from The Sound of Music to read in front of the directors. And then we got in there and they were like, huh, just kidding, you're gonna do dance. And then fifth grade me was like, uh, no, I can't dance. And anyway, so we did the dance, <laughs> we did the dance audition and um, I did not do it well at all, like at all. Um, it was not at all the best um, experience for me. Um, anyway, so then after the dance auditions, they did more cuts and sadly they cut me, even though I was kind of expecting it because I can't dance. Well, fifth grade me couldn't dance. And then, um, so I was super upset and I remember after those auditions going um, to Culver's and crying and saying I never wanted to do theater again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which is weird for me because if I hadn't continued doing theater, I don't know where my life would be at right now. Like, I, I can't even imagine. Anyways. So fast forward four years, um, 2019, this year, um, freshman in high school, and I'm like, let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna audition for Wizard of Oz, um, which, by the way, I've done more theater in the past, but yeah. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna audition for Wizard of Oz, and if I get in, great. If I don't get in, perfectly fine. Um, still have that mindset. Anyways. So we, so they were like, okay, so they were like, um, yeah, such and such is the teen chorus, which was 15 to 18 years old, was the teen chorus, or 17, like, okay, um, 8 to 14 at the time of auditions is children's chorus, so I don't turn 14 for another two months um, post audition date. So I was, I was annoyed at first and then I was like, whatever. I mean, I can do this. It's children's chorus. I'll just audition for it. It'll be fine. And then, um, so they're like, okay, prep 16 bars of Over the Rainbow. So I did that and that was perfectly fine. I prepped that. So then it gets to audition day and... <laughs> So it's snowing really bad and not really bad yet, but it was supposed to snow really bad. And basically, um, 
So my mom was like, yeah, we're not going to drive in this such, so I'm going to pull you out of school early. So I got pulled out of um, my seventh hour early. And then we like went to the audition and then I got there and we got all checked in. And basically like when you first check in to um, like to audition, when you check in, they give you a piece of, uh, they gave you paperwork to fill out. And it's basically like your email and your parents' email, phone number, just all that stuff. Like your height, um, shirt size, just stuff like that. And then they're like, okay, now here's your number, you know, like an audition. <laughs> and then, um, and then they're like, okay, just turn this back in with your resume and your headshot. So that's all you have to do check in wise. So you do that and then you wait until they're like, okay, such and such number, it's time to go. And th once again, this is like the audition from for a children's chorus. Like this is what it was like. I have no idea what it's like for the equity actors slash actresses and the teen chorus. Like I haven't experienced that yet. Um, I'm sure I will sometime in the future. And then, so anyways, back to the story. So then you wait and you wait and I waited probably like an hour and a half until they're like, okay, number nine, here you go. And then, so we lined up and then we went into a separate room and learned the dance in like five minutes ish. And it wasn't a difficult dance. It was just very upbeat. And so it, for me, it was easy to catch on to because I've had other dance experience since my uh, Sound of Music failed <laughs> audition experience. <laughs> uh, anyway, so they taught us the dance and they're like, okay, switch lines, switch lines, whatever. So we get in there, they're like, okay, go through the dance one, once or twice in your head. So then we go through it like by ourselves. They're like, okay, let's go. So then they're like, okay, we're gonna split you in half. This side, come here, you're gonna audition now. So then they're like, actually and then so then or no we didn't audition with those groups they're like okay you're gonna practice it in a smaller group so we practiced in a smaller group and then they called numbers and I was the first group I was in the first group to dance so I went up there and I did my thing um and it was really fun I think I messed up like once but it wasn't very obvious and then we went over to the side waited for that to happen so then after everybody was done with the dance audition they made cuts, like a lot of cuts. And 15 to 20 of us stayed, like not a lot at all of us. Like out of everybody that was there, there was probably like, mm, like 50-ish, 50, 60 kids and 20 of us stayed, I think. So that was a big accomplishment for me. Um, I was just really happy to be um, not cut. It was kind of like one of those moments because last time I did a Starlight audition, I was cut. And it was one of those moments where I was like, wow, like this is really cool, you know? And then, um, so anyway, so then they're like, okay, now you're going to sing, boys are going to sing the Lollipop Gilg song and girls are going to sing the Lullaby League song. So they didn't have a sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow at all, which is the song that we prepped. Like, they didn't have us sing that at all. So then the boys did their thing, whatever, and then it gets to our turn, and they're like, okay, yeah, we want you to sing it up an octave just to see if you can do it. <clears throat> now, I can sing high, but I cannot sing as high as they were wanting us to. But if the director, <laughs> which if the director is telling me like sing high, I'm gonna sing high because it's professional directors and I'm gonna do what they want me to do. And so I got out notes on, I got out notes and words and they were right. It just didn't sound the best, um, but that's okay because some, I don't know, it was just like, it was, it was a good thing is what I'm saying. It was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be when they originally were like, okay, yeah, sing it up an octave. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. 
But anyways, so then after we did that, they, um, they're like, okay, now can you guys, can you girls line up in high order? And for the children's chorus, they were obviously looking for the munchkin roles in Wizard of Oz. And so we lined up in high order and I'm 5'1 and they split it at five foot. So I don't know if, <laughs> I still don't know if that means like good or bad, but if you're auditioning for a munchkin, uh, yeah. But, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm gonna say, but anyways, in this video. Sorry, sidetracked. Anyways, um, so we got, so we got like in high order and stuff, and then they were like, okay, yeah, such and such. And then they like, at this point, they knew us as more than a number, which sounds, sounds weird. But for auditions, when you first walk in, you're just number 24 or you're just number 18. Like they don't look at your resume right away. And so um, at this point, they're like, okay, like for me, they're like, Anna, and they like looked you in the eye. So it was good to like have that like, personal that personal connection not really like connection but kind of connection with um a Broadway like director and it was just like kind of like a fangirl moment for me I don't know it was weird <laughs> but they're like okay so da. and then they looked at me and this other girl and they were like and like he would write something down on our like sheets and then he would like look at us again and write something down and that freaks me out, like, because it can mean either good or bad whenever a director writes something on your sheet. And I don't know, it was just very nerve wracking in that moment. Like I was nervous before the audition, like during the school day, I was so nervous. And then when we got there, I was like, OK, whatever. And then at that moment, the nerves like hit me again. <sighs> And then, so after that, um, they're like, okay, um, Anna, when will you turn 15? Because they're like, wait, you're 14? I was like, yes. And they're like, when are you turn 15? I was like, this upcoming March. They're like, okay. And then that was it. And that was the last thing they said to me, except for like they're, and then after that, after they asked like some of the 14 year olds when they would be turning 15, they're like, okay, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Um, you all did a great job. Um, thank you, and we'll let you know. So, <laughs> and then that was that. So that was like, that was my experience of auditioning for um, Starlight Theater, Starlight Theater's production of Wizard of Oz. Um, and it was, it was honestly like really good. Like I felt really good about it. And I won't know about cast list or anything until like first weekend of March, like I won't know for a while. So I'm just kind of like chilling, just waiting. And honestly, like if they cast me, that's really awesome. And if they don't, like I got a really cool experience of auditioning and that's really like, and auditions are so fun for me. And I don't know, I just had a really good time. So at this point, I think it would be really cool if I got in, but if not, it is what it is, you know? And I think, like, I don't know. I feel like they will cast the shorter kids first, and then they'll narrow it down to some of the taller kids. Because there were a lot of tall 11 to 14-year-olds that were um, auditioning. So I'll be surprised. I will be, like, not... I'll be surprised if they cast a lot of the taller kids um but anyway so that was that um thank you so much for watching um please if you are interested at all in musical theater like musical theater literally has changed my life like please find an audition and go audition for something just like and I know it's scary like the idea of putting yourself out there but do it because it's so much fun and it's just a life-changing experience all around. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
um, like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you want more videos. I mean, I'm gonna make them even if you don't subscribe, but like, hey, I'm here for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching and bye!